Have you ever felt alone as if the world has turned its back on you? It's a feeling that creeps up on us, often unexpected, like a shadow that lingers even when the sun is shining. It's the sinking sensation of loneliness, that unshakable despair that can sometimes feel as if it's consuming us from within. In these moments of utter desolation, it's not uncommon for us to reach out, to seek comfort from something or someone beyond our tangible existence. We yearn for a hand to hold, a voice to guide us, a presence to reassure us that despite the storm, we're not alone. This is where the power of belief comes into play. Many of us find solace by turning to a higher power, a divine force that we believe is always standing by us. This belief becomes our anchor, our refuge, our source of strength when the world around us seems to be crumbling. The belief that there is a benevolent force, a God who is standing by us, can be immensely comforting. Let's consider the story of a woman named Grace. Grace was a woman of strength, resilience and unyielding faith. She was no stranger to hardship, having faced numerous trials and tribulations in her life. Yet it was during the most challenging time when she was diagnosed with a life-threatening illness that her faith shone the brightest. She found solace in her belief that God was standing by her. Her faith was her fortress, her sanctuary in the face of fear and uncertainty. It gave her the courage to fight, to hold on, to hope. And in the end, her story serves as a testament to the power of belief, of faith, and of the comfort that can be found in the knowledge that we are never truly alone. In the darkest of times, the belief that God is standing by can be a beacon of hope. So remember, when you feel alone and the world seems to have turned its back on you, hold on to your faith, for it is in these moments that the power of belief can truly shine. But how can we be sure that God is always standing by us? This question has been asked by countless people throughout history, and the answer can be deeply personal and subjective. For some, the sense of divine presence and support is felt through moments of quiet reflection, perhaps in the stillness of a peaceful morning or the silence of a starlit night. They feel a calmness, a serenity, that seems to transcend ordinary experience as if a comforting hand has been gently laid upon their shoulder. It's as though a soft whisper in the wind tells them, you are not alone, I am here with you. Others might experience signs of divine presence in more tangible ways, an unexpected coincidence, a fortuitous encounter, a sudden stroke of luck. These can all be interpreted as signs of divine intervention. They are the little miracles that happen in our day-to-day -day lives, reminding us that there's a higher power watching over us, guiding us, standing by us. There are also those who have faced great adversity only to find an unexpected reservoir of strength within themselves, a strength they attribute to divine support. It's as if in their darkest moments, a light has been switched on, illuminating a path forward. They feel a warm presence, a reassurance that they are not alone in their struggles. However, it's important to note that these experiences are deeply personal. They can't be measured or quantified. They can't be proven or disproven. They are felt in the heart and soul. They are the quiet whispers of comfort and reassurance that echo in the chambers of our inner selves. These experiences can provide immense comfort and strength. They can help us navigate through the storms of life, guiding us towards calm seas. They remind us that even when we feel lost or alone, there is a divine presence standing by, ready to offer support and guidance. While the signs may be subtle, they can be profoundly comforting, reinforcing the belief that God is always standing by. What does it mean to never be alone, even when we feel most isolated? Let's delve into this thought, my friends. Imagine being in a room all by yourself, the walls closing in and the silence deafening. But there's something else there with you a presence that you can't see, but you can feel. This is divine companionship. It's a companionship that's not dictated by physical presence or absence. It's a spiritual connection, a bond with an entity greater than ourselves, a bond with the divine. It's a companionship that's always there, even when we feel at our most isolated. To illustrate this, let's share a real life story. Picture a man named John. John was a hardworking individual, always on the move, always busy. But one day, John found himself alone, trapped in his own thoughts, his heart heavy with sadness. He felt isolated, cut off from the world. But in that moment of extreme loneliness, John felt something else. He felt a presence, a warmth, a comfort that he couldn't explain. It was as if someone was there with him, sharing his pain, comforting him. This was divine companionship. John was alone, but he wasn't alone. 
He was in the company of the divine. This companionship gave him comfort, gave him strength. It helped him through his darkest hour. John's story is not unique. Many of us have felt this divine companionship in our moments of loneliness. This divine companionship isn't dependent on our circumstances. It's always there, waiting for us to acknowledge it, to feel it. It's a companionship that's not dependent on physical presence, but on spiritual connection. When we feel alone, we're not really alone. We're in the company of the divine, of a presence that's greater than ourselves. We just need to acknowledge it, to feel it. In our loneliest moments, the belief that God is standing by can provide a sense of companionship and peace. So remember, you're never truly alone. Even when you feel most isolated, the divine is standing by offering you companionship and peace. How can faith give us the strength to face life's challenges? Faith, my friends, is more than just a belief in a higher power. It is an innate conviction, a profound trust that there is a divine force, a guiding hand standing by us in every walk of life. It's the fuel that keeps the flame of hope burning, even in the darkest of times. Consider the story of Amelia. She was a woman of humble origins whose life was beset by trials that would have broken the spirit of many. A single mother, she worked two jobs to make ends meet, all while battling a chronic illness. But amidst all these challenges, Amelia never faltered. She drew strength from her faith, her unwavering belief that God was standing by her, guiding her through the storm. She used to say, Life may knock me down seven times, but with God by my side, I'll get up eight. Amelia's faith was her fortress, her shield against the harsh winds of life. It didn't make her challenges disappear, but it gave her the strength and resilience to face them head on. Amelia's story is a testament to the power of faith. Her strength was not born out of physical might or worldly wealth. It was the fruit of her unshakable faith, her trust in the divine force that she believed was always standing by her. So when life throws its curveballs, when you feel like you're traversing a stormy sea with no land in sight, remember Amelia, remember her strength, her resilience, her faith, and remember that you too can draw from that well of strength. Faith is not about having all the answers. It's about trusting that there is a divine force, a guiding hand standing by us, even when the road ahead seems uncertain. It's about believing that there is a purpose, a plan, even when life seems chaotic. Faith can be a source of immense strength, affirming the belief that God is standing by, ready to help us navigate life's storms. What assurance do we have that God will never leave us? This is a question that echoes in the hearts of many, especially during times of turbulence and uncertainty. Let's delve into the answer together. The concept of God's unending presence and unwavering support is a cornerstone of many faiths. It's an idea that has provided solace to countless individuals across the globe from every walk of life. It's a belief that no matter what we face, we are not alone. We have a companion who is steadfast, who will never abandon us. Consider the story of a humble woman named Mary. She was a single mother living in the heart of a bustling city. Life was a constant struggle, filled with hardships that seemed insurmountable. Yet in the midst of her trials, Mary clung to her faith. She held on to the belief that God was with her, that he would not leave her side. And this belief, this conviction, became her beacon. It guided her through the darkest nights, helped her overcome her greatest fears. She found the strength to persevere, to keep pushing forward, because she knew she was not alone. Through her faith, Mary found comfort. She found reassurance. She found hope. And these discoveries were not fleeting. They were enduring, persisting, even when the world around her seemed to crumble. This is the power of the belief that God will never leave us. It's a belief that can provide a sense of security, a feeling of peace, even in the midst of chaos. It's a belief that can inspire resilience, that can encourage us to keep moving forward, no matter what we face. Because at the end of the day, it's not about escaping the storms of life. It's about knowing that even when the winds howl and the skies darken, we are not alone. We have a companion who is steadfast, who will never abandon us. The belief that God will never leave us can be a powerful source of comfort and reassurance, especially in our darkest hours. And that, my friends, is a promise we can hold on to.